What's up, boys and girls, my nieces and my nephews, divine feminine and divine masculine. Welcome back to the Karmic Circus, where we expose all of these karmic ass clowns. Oscar said, what it do, what it do, what it do. He is ready and activated to throw these motherfuckers in the tent. Now, this read is going to be about karmic energies. Okay? This is not your energy. Okay? This is not your energy. This is the energy of the karmics. Okay? This could be a family member, a friend, a neighbor, a co-worker, your ex-partner, ex-wife, ex-husband, ex-baby uh, mama, baby daddy. This could be a twin flame, a karmic soulmate. Okay, but whoever this person is, for some of you, this is an ex, somebody you've been dealing with. Okay, someone you've been, um, who comes and go in your life, have sex with you, no strings attached type of energy. This person is keeping you from using your intuition. Okay, I see truth and clarity in somebody's situation. Now, before I get off into this reading, I need each and everybody to hit that thumbs up button because for you to be able to get a seat in the front row in the circus you can't just walk in there by yourself because if you do the clowns will get you okay so i need you to hit that that thumbs up and you when you hit the subscribe button that's a way of going on over there and buying you some popcorn that's my concession stand when you hit the subscribe button. You can go over there and get free popcorn, free soda, Kool-Aid, Sprite, whatever the fuck you want. You can go over there and you can get you some weed. It's all free, baby. Okay, all you got to do is hit that subscribe button. Now, this is only valid while you're sitting in your seat at the circus. So, if you got some popcorn, go put that shit in the microwave right now. If you wanna, if you if you got your drink, go get your Hennessy, go get your vodka, go get whatever, okay? Cause I'm about to tell you what's going on with these karmics. Some of you, this is an ex of yours. They're not a twin flame. They're a karmic twin flame. So let's find out what's going on. Somebody's twin is losing money. A feminine energy. Possibly a Virgo, Taurus, or a Capricorn. Apparently they did something. Um, something they didn't done and they're not spiritually protected. Okay, I also see that this is the energy of a, a evil water sign. Okay, it's an evil water sign. I see a feminine energy. She could have a younger brother. Um, both of them could be water signs, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. <laughs> They're defeated. They wanted you to be. You're not. And for somebody out here, this is this masculine who wants to come and have sex with you and leave. No strings attached energy. Now remember, these are different energies.
these are not your energies, okay? These could be the energies that's surrounding you, something you may not be able, aware of. I see this sister and brother. The sister may not be talking to the brother right now. Whoever, whoever this, this, uh, Knight of Swords energy is that's been coming in and out of your life and leaving. I see you, you are, you are protecting yourself against this energy. Somebody wanted you to be threatened by them and you're not. They're defeated. They, I guess they wanted you to be scared. This is somebody that has to do something to do with your twin flame. They're being warned. And, and they were warned and they're still being warned. And they're, de trying, they're defeated. This person is off balance. A lot of mind manipulation, mind games. But they was warned not to do this. They get into a lot of fights, chaos, and conflict. Some of them is ending up in, in um, either a mental institution, mental facility. Um, they could be spiritually, emotionally fucked up. Okay, mentally fucked up. Tell me more about these karmic energies. They're not spiritually protected. Um, when they're in relationships with people, they don't give no equal give and take. And they've been warned to stop doing this, but they're still doing it. They're still doing, you know, mind manipulations. And they're in the they're getting defeated they're getting knocked the fuck out whoever this energy is they wanted you to be afraid of them I don't know if they wanted you to be literally afraid of them spiritually afraid this could be a spiritual bully here they're trying to attack your ten of cups energy this person whatever they did or tried to do towards you they seeing demons. They may be. They. That could be a, a, a minister, a Catholic priest, or. Um, they trying to get healed. They're scared to go to sleep. This is karma for them. Some of you could be dealing with the Taurus. I see uh, Leo out here. I see Libra. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Yeah, this person is in some sort of um, prison. Mm -hmm. Now this could also mean this could be somebody's false twin. Oscar just threw him in the tent. This is somebody's false ten, ten, twin. If this is your masculine energy, whoever this person is, okay, they have, um, it's, it's a lot of masculine energies around here. You're not threatened by this person. You're not defeated. This person couldn't defeat you. They don't scare you because they, they don't 
they don't know anything about spiritually protecting themselves. Nothing. We're going to get some, some karmic -y ass cards. Y'all like my nails? Show me the energy surrounding this karmic, the false twin, because this is a false twin for somebody. They going through a lot of chaos. They was playing mind games with you. They was warned and told not to do this, but they still did it. Now they're receiving karma. Some of you, this person, maybe you may have a gift, a spiritual gift, and this person may be threatened by it. They wanted you to be threatened by them, but you're not. somebody at a mental institution somebody may work at some sort of mental institution and 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 this this nurse she's looking she's looking right at some sort of fight somebody is going to jail because of a fight this is karma for them for trying to manipulate you okay in this jail it don't have to be literal jail behind bars this could be spiritual jail. This person could be seeing demons. They may can't sleep at night. They could have been doing some sort of moon magic. Okay, Holy Spirit, show me the energy surrounding this twin flame. So collective, y'all don't forget to hit that, that thumbs up. Secretly tried to sacrifice you. Here's Libra again. So there's a Libra energy that tried to secretly sac sacrifice you. And now this person could be sick and dying. This is what they tried to do to you. And it could have happened in 2019. So for somebody out there, a Libra tried to secretly sacrifice you in 2019. Now this person is sick and dying. I don't like to say it, but that's what the cards say. They could have tried to poison you. And somebody could have poisoned them. Because whatever they set out to happen to you, if you're spiritually protecting yourself, it's going to happen to them. Because karma don't play. Snake bites. Somebody could have got bitten by a snake. A karmic energy got bit by a snake. And now this person could be sick and they could be dying. Okay. The snake was poison and the snake was toxic. See? A poisonous snake. Somebody got bit. And they sick and dying. Now, whoever this energy is, they, they secretly tried to sacrifice you in 2019. Okay? This person, this, oh. see? They sent them to sabotage you. This person was sent by the devil. And it could be this character right here who's coming in and out of your life wanting to have sex with you. If they're Libra, um... This person, birthday, they could have been born in 1954. We have depression, medication, and popping pills. So, if this person, they could have, they, their karma could be that they could have got bitten by a snake. That was poisonous. And they could be sick or dying. Um, or somebody, this could have happened in 2019. Here's something about a trap house. And the only sign that they came out so far out of this deck is a Libra energy. 
2021. So, for some of you out there, somebody could have tried to poison you in 2019 or 2021. This person could be born in the year of 1954, so they could be an older person. Um, and now they're sick and dying. They could have went somewhere and, and got bitten by a snake. Or if it's not a, a real snake with the trap house here, they could be sick and dying from sleeping with a snake. Somebody nasty and toxic that has multiple partners and run after everybody. This person was sent to sabotage you. This is somebody's false twin flame. So their karma is the, the snake bite. Whether it was by an official snake or it was by a person who carries a snake energy. We have underground facility. Y'all don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and purchase your ticket. I hope you didn't just sneak into the circus. Because them clowns going to take you, take you, um, put you in the center ring with them. In that three ring circus. We got underground facility. We got human trafficking. Depression and popping pills. The government. Oscar just threw somebody in the tent. The government and the justice system. Fucking and sucking. Somebody could be sick and dying from doing a lot of fucking and sucking on a snake. Some of you, this person could be... Um, your karmic energy could be somebody who works for the government or the justice system. Your karmic energy could be a police officer that's always fucking with you and they see you somewhere. They just got to fuck with you in some sort of way. That the police can be a karmic. A judge that's handling your case can be a karmic. Anybody that's out there to hurt you or do you wrong in some sort of way is a karmic energy. Okay? Some of these karmic energies, they're taking... They're taking um, medication because they're they're depressed we have a gemini energy here and this is somebody's um twin flame who secretly tried to to uh, sacrifice you and they could be doing glamour spells you must be beautiful or handsome, so they want to take that away from you. Somebody's name may start with the letter B. Somebody could have been born in 1986. Sent someone to make you sick with AIDS. So whoever are these karmic energies, these are different energies. Okay? But whatever the case may be, they're getting sick, okay, for throwing glamour spells at some of you, for trying to poison some of you, for secretly trying to sacrifice some of you. And it's something to do with the human trafficking in an underground facility, a trap house. Fucking and sucking, something from 2021 or 2020, 2019, 2022. Spiritual assassin. This is somebody who was sent to spiritually kill your image. You must have a gift. Well, we all have a purpose. And this this character apparently seen your character, seen your, you know, that you have a uh, seen your purpose. And they came into your life to block it. Most likely they did. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this could be somebody who you lay down with. There's someone you, who you think is your twin flame, but they're actually a false twin flame. So, let's see what, what, what's the business when it comes to this false twin flame. They're thinking about you. You're no longer obsessed with this person because you know that they're a false twin. 
and they belong in the circus. So y'all make sure you hit that that thumbs up button and purchase your ticket because when you don't, I'm telling you, these clowns will grab your hand and try to pull you back into their drama. Come on, baby, let's go. Come into the circus with me. You can get in on the side though, and then next thing you know, you're gonna be in that three ring circus. So you better purchase you better purchase the ticket from me and hit that thumbs up instead of following that clown. And don't let them give you no red balloon. Because that red balloon is filled with toxicity. Okay? You don't want to go. Get him, Oscar. Oscar, wake up. <laughs> Y'all see Oscar got his, his little Christmas hat on. Look, I got his. <laughs> I got a bunch of little Christmas hats, so I'm gonna be wearing different hats every day. And I didn't, I'm looking at my camera. My camera is in dip, is in different place, y'all. So. <laughs> And this camera is the opposite. Opposite. But yeah. But I'm trying to let y'all see see the cards. Because a lot of people, even though they ain't motherfucking tarot readers, they be like, I need to see the cards. I don't know what the fuck you really need to see the cards for if you can't read. And if you can read, you need to buy your own damn cards. And read for yourself. I just needed to say that. I gotta put me some Christmas lights up in here. Okay, so tell me about this twin flame. What went on between the collective and the twin flame? You're no longer in pain when it comes to this person. Yeah, this person was sending you all kind of mixed signals, had your heart foggy. Blocked the emotions when it came to you. Now it's finally over. The finality. Okay, it's over. You done left this person behind. Closure. Farewell. In any relationship you go through with somebody and they dog you out, they cheat on you, they uh, lie on you, they steal from you, that's a karmic energy. Okay, because somebody of the divine will not steal from you. They'll have your back. If anything, they'll help you. They'll do for you. They'll they'll work e equally with you. Okay? But the devil will send someone in to try to destroy you. And here's the divine masculine that just fell out. Now, if this is not your energy, this could be your, your person's energy. This could be um, divine feminine. This could be your divine masculine's energy. Here's chemistry out here, and we have mistake. Okay, where where it's finally over. This person, they they're looking at too loud. I'm sorry, y'all. I just turned this on. I didn't know it was gonna get loud like that. Okay. But see, this person, they, they're, it's like they didn't, they don't feel that they're, that they made a mistake. It's like they're wondering why you walked away from them. But they're not your twin flame. They're a false twin. And they was, you know, um... You could have felt a spark and, or a spark of passion for this person, or you was attracted to them. But it was, it was, it was something. They could have been taking you through an emotional storm, left you unstable. distracted no more this person was causing all sorts of delays and and setbacks into your life 
was sidetracking you, kept kept your heart foggy. And they don't think that they made a mistake by doing all of this. You're no longer um, spying on this person. You've moved on. You're not holding on to them no more. And they're and still, you done walked away. And they still like, come back, collective. What did I do? You know what the fuck you did. And you guys, I like the shuffle until a card comes out. I can sit here and just pull all day. Like that. When cars do certain things, they want to be seen. Yeah, this this masculine, he's going through a uh, an emotional storm right now, turmoil and, and and you know, feeling lost because it's finally over with you. And um, he probably didn't like the fact that you set some boundaries with, with him. He still don't, don't want you to say enough is enough. He don't want you to set no boundaries. All he's thinking about right about, right about now is how attractive he is to you. Okay? But it's over. This masculine kept all sorts of secrets. He was concealing things. He had mysteries. Yep, you don't want no more conflict with this person because there was a lot of clashing between you and them. A lot of differences. You didn't, it, it's like you wasn't seeing eye to eye in a lot of situations. And you're no longer clip craving for them. You don't want them. Your pussy ain't aching for them. Your dick ain't aching for them. You don't want them no more. Yep. This person was ghosting you. They was, you know, disappearing on you and shit, running away from you. So you like, fuck it. Run your ass on. I'm not chasing you. They don't want to run no more now. Okay. But they still holding in secrets. What is this person's intentions towards the collective? What are their intentions? See, if you be with this person, I don't suggest because they're they're still going to be out, you know, chasing, chasing others, chasing thrills, heads turning, popping eyes out the head, being disrespectful, looking at other women or other men when you're around, having you feeling trapped, stuck, tied down. You don't have to be. You don't have to be. Tell me more about this person. This person is bitter and angry, but they ain't angry with you. They can't be. You didn't do nothing to them. But you're using your intuition. And you may be hearing songs that remind you of this person. This person, that's this person sending them songs to you. Okay. They're thinking about you. Because they don't want you to resist them. Shocking. Something ain't a shock to them. Something was, was not ex was unexpected. Or they didn't expect for you to be able to resist them. After all the running away they did from you. All the ghosting. Them sometimes ending it with you. Causing delays in your life. And setbacks. Keeping you stuck, tied down like held captive. Saying hurtful words to you. Playing the victim. Just causing all sorts of trouble in your life. And um, it's like you're still dealing with this person, but you're not no more. And this is what got them fucked up. Yep, you're no longer in, obsessed. If some of you were obsessed with this person, you were if you adored this person, if you was like attracted, addicted to this person, and you really like cared about them, you're not. That's that's over. That's over. 
when you was with this person you couldn't nourish yourself you wasn't growing because they didn't want to commit okay they didn't want a commitment so basically what they was doing just having you holding on waiting for them and they had no plans of committing to you this is why they was ghosting you it's like they 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 dangling a, a, a dangling a piece of steak in front of a dog you know this is how they you know if, if they can keep you just give you just enough attention to where you won't totally leave them but they can keep dangling that meat in front of you this is where they at okay and you walked away from that this person wasn't aware of the value and the importance of you or the relationship and now they're sitting here they have having memories but the memories they have are bittersweet because they know they was rude to you they didn't show love to you mm -hmm. some of you they withdrew their energy from you just to be spiteful okay as a revenge tactic yep this person was dishonest a lot of deception trickery web of lies you reached your breaking point but they don't want you to okay they didn't want they didn't want they it's like they still wanted you to keep on you know waiting around for them and they bullshit like you saying i'd rather be with you and your bullshit but you ain't you, you ain't saying that <laughs> you don't want to deal with them nor they bullshit okay because all they brought to you was a lot of confusion left you uncertain and unclear and unsure about the relationship with them this person if they brought you flowers look at the flowers that she had there may be some you know did the wind blow the flowers off of them or is that a bunch of them little uh, uh what they called um uh dandelions that she then blew all of the, the the dandy off of them <laughs> or did this person blow you off yeah so yeah this person was sent into your life to distract you mm -hmm. to bring turmoil and trouble into your life to be dishonest but i see that you are resisting them person this person now because you know that they don't want a commitment okay and you're not longing for them you're not aching for them you're not craving them you don't want their motherfucking ass put it in the comments i don't want their motherfucking ass because when i was with them all they did was keep me tied down had you tied down confused why they chasing others at one time you was clinging to him, but you ain't no more. You got tired of them running from you, ghosting you, and disappearing on you. This person thought they was Jesus Christ, like they can walk on water. You said enough is enough. No more pain. So if you walked away from this person, they secretly tried to sacrifice you. They could have, some of you, they tried to poison you. Some of you, they tried to get you sick with AIDS. Some of you, um, they may have a snake in their house and they may have let their snake bite you. Okay? Somebody has something to do with a trap house. There's some of these karmics, they're on, on pills. They sick and dying. They depressed. Taking medicine. Something to do with an underground facility. But they were sent to sabotage you. And Oscar just threw him in the tent. And if any of you, you feel the energy of somebody spiritually attacking you, I am um, making a whole new batch of candles because the first batch, these right here, this is why I got them burning. Because if, as you can see, the flowers flowers was burning inside okay so i'm just burning them here 
myself the ones that I made, but I have the little lids for them to put them out. But I did make some, um, I have a truth and clarity candle, I have a crown chakra protection candle, and I have a sexual creativity candle. Now, the truth and, can truth and clarity candle is for your third eye. And for some of you, you may need to speak your truth or you may want to get the truth from somebody. So you burn this candle. Okay, and they each come with these candles. These crystals in here will help with your, your third eye, your throat chakra. Okay, and I have this candle right here for your crown chakra. So you may have somebody out there that um, is trying to block your crown chakra. I got to remelt this because I just put the crystals on top. So I got to remelt it and everything and put the, the last little touches on this. Okay, I have the crown chakra and I have a candle for your sexual creativity. So if you, you feel like you're having problems um, in that department, this has the carnelian stone. The carnelian stone, it's for your uh, uh, sacral chakra. <clears throat> and it may, you know, it'll help you parts in the bedroom with your sexual creativity. You may, may be having little problems there. So you burn that candle and you, um, you order the package. The package will come with, with, uh, Palo Santo sage. It comes with the spiritual bath mix and the candle and the evil eye bracelet okay and some um crystals oh. it'll come with um a package with the these beautiful this is a rainbow titanium crystal um it'll come with a rose quartz well now y'all just want to start falling over now and shit it'll come with the pink rose quartz i have a blue aura and a uh amethyst and these will come with the spiritual protection package all of these for 44 dollars and 44 cent you will get all these these four crystals You'll get um, the candle, and you'll get um, some small, smaller crystals. Okay, all for forty-four dollars and forty-four cents. You just inboxing. Okay, I got my PO box going and everything now. I got that done today, so um, you can order from me if you guys want to send me some gifts and everything or. Um, donations to my channel you can send it to my cash app or to my P.O. box okay so damn it, I'm going to take these down I can't sit them up there no they're going to keep sliding off so yes I have the truth and clarity candle I have the sexual creativity candle and I have the truth and, and the uh, crown chakra candle so if you want to purchase this spiritual um, protection kit just go ahead and inbox me all right so I'm gonna stop this reading right here and um, oh and it comes with evil eye bracelet too and some smaller crystals so you get a good you get a good um, spiritual package bundle from me all right so my nieces and nephews if you enjoyed this reading, am I making you crazy? I'm holding the candle now, the camera, because it's it's not sitting up on top of the screen, so it's making me feel like I'm looking retarded. Anyway, if you want to order a spiritual protection package for me, then inbox me at pinkscorpionintuitive at gmail.com. Again, that's pinkscorpionintuitive at gmail.com. Okay, and if you want to send something to my cash app my cash app is uh dollar sign scorpions queen okay and my paypal is pink scorpion 66 
the information will be in the description box below on how to contact me. So, don't forget y'all to purchase that ticket by hitting that thumbs up button. And I'll see you in the next week. Alright, peace.